nice rainy evening to go get ourselves some sulfur ore. Whether you've planted some crops and now you need to make some stone fertilizer and need some acidic fluid, which is easily made with sulfur powder, maybe you're up to the point where you want some plant essence or some of the other goodies that you need sulfur to make. You can grind it up with sulfur ore and there's a couple of locations on the map, but one of the easiest ones to find is where I'm about to show you today. Now we are a bit further west by the mysterious portal hills. If you haven't unlocked jungle and you live over here and you plan to come over here, I highly advise unlocking the rainforest portal as that'll enable you to quick travel back for just mask energy. It will cost you three green crystal to unlock, so keep that in mind, but there's usually like a little camp somewhere nearby that's going to drop some crystals. I happen to live right next door to the hills portal and I also am playing on the Sanctum of Cthulhu soul mask server, so we have keep loot on death and two times harvest. Two times XP from harvest rather. Although I do believe harvest was meant to be buffed, who knows. It is excellent XP mining ores so it's super worthy. If you haven't ventured over here I highly advise a bonfire and a few little thatch bits so that the rain, because it does occasionally rain over here as you can see, uh, not often, but it will. You, your fire will go out. So you need to have a little roof over it. If it's not in a bonfire area, it will start to decay. So put some wood on your campfire, but that's essentially your bedroll. You don't need to have bronze armor and bronze weapons to come here, but definitely the best type of beast bone that you have, preferably legendary. Although epic will get you past. And if you can come with some type of better weapon, like a bronze weapon, I do highly advise that because there are some baddie wolves around and probably a mount because they have really good inventory. Again, I don't really care about that right now. Uh, also another advantage to a mount is they're a little bit quicker than a lot of things and you may not be able to fight on them but you can heal on them. I just recently caught myself a Yama baby because there's a llama spawn right here. So you usually have to kill the parents but I couldn't place the cage right here anyway so I had to chase him over to the spot. We had another adult spawn, so if you kill them all, you have a better luck of babies spawning. Just a quick little added bonus. I have a market where I'm running to, but it's advisable to continuously press the Q button to see what dangers are coming. Here is the portal itself. Let's put a little booby light on. If you haven't seen a mysterious portal, this is what they look like. Click on them, unlock it, and then you can travel. Got some mask energy. Like I said, usually some camps around so you can refresh that if you have been smashing Q, but it is a good thing to level up that storage capability. Yeah, I'd get there a lot quicker with riding my alpacas, but as I plan to actually just kill myself and respawn at my campfire, these guys may attack you. You can also hold Q and check out the rank of certain things. So like he's a pretty decent baby alpaca, probably better than definitely better than the ones we have. It is easy to avoid wolves if you are sneaky and you go at night or when it's raining, stick to bushes. You usually hear them before they see you, but not always. I did get um, kind of ganked here yesterday going to do this. So it definitely can be risky and I have a lit bonfire often when pushing area. A pretty straightforward path from that teleporter, mysterious portal, obelisk thing. Quick travel spot. And the areas themselves is relatively safe. You may come across a total, total, tortoise or two. And one of the mines does have NPCs at it. So that is to be noted because, um, oh, I'm wearing a beast layer. Oh, the epic total. Sometimes at base layers, you can actually find boxes and tablets to unlock. So it's good to keep an eye out for them when you find these. This guy might attack me, but because it's a turtle, they don't tortoise. They don't usually attack first. You got to attack them. You want to use a hammer or some gauntlets, maybe some poison. Gonna help you a lot with him. Doesn't appear to be any tablets of any variety around here. It's not always guaranteed. There might be, I just could be silly. You don't know what clay looks like? This is clay. I always need clay and it is good XP even though you have two times XP and you might not be playing with that. It's still going to be very good and you need just so much of it. But onward to, oh it's such a beautiful waterfall. I really love this spot. Onward to the mines. Another quick little location on the map. Now this is the sulfur mine that has the NPCs in it, Fang Tribe to be sp specific, and it's just a little south of the frog boss, Ermid. And then we have another small pit that only has elite boars at it, and you you can avoid them for the most part. They'll, they will rip you a new one, though, if you're not prepared for them. First time I came here was in Beastbone Armor, one great. Oh, we got a little house. Who this? Outpost. Oh, I thought it might be Luna. 
she's been smashing. Yeah, I remember her saying that she found um, the waterfall. Uh, we'll be in stone soon. Unfortunately, I've been having to work too much in real life and have so much going on. It's been a bit unfortunate, but this is what you're looking for. You do want to also bring a beast bone pick because it will not be harvested with a stone pick and preferably an iron pick. But an iron pick? Well, yeah, if you've got iron, but a bronze pick. <laughs> will do. And you can hold Q on these guys if you didn't know and check who they are. I probably have a pretty chance of getting them, but I want to mine as much as I can in case I do happen to die as I don't have a respawn campfire right next to me. But you definitely should. Just gonna climb up here if I can't get a better angle. Maybe even pick one of these guys off. Get over here. Oop. Or don't. Oh, come back. <laughs> Got him. A lot of the animals and NPCs seem pretty hard until you learn a couple of um, moves and stuff that do really help in areas to attack them. Person again might hurt me a lot. I'm going to try and get some of this first. And it's best to take the air of caution in this game and just assume things are going to mess you up. Could have tamed her, but I also don't want to carry her home. Get about to my mining again. The person inside the cave is generally a lot higher level if you have not come across a mine yet. Usually some type of elite. Not always. I need a lot of this mostly for heals but also for compost. So my trees stop dying. You can get a lot of the stone fertilizer from certain barracks and killing NPCs and stuff like that in the barracks and smashing up the pots and getting boxes. A lot slower grind though. And a couple of the little camps also offer it. Um, rude. It's just a turha. It's easier sometimes. And you can also get extra stuff off them when you do do that. Probably put my bandages in my actual bandage spot instead of alpaca tamey things. Press tab, look in their inventory and you can see what they have. Take that off them and carry them home if you like. I'll actually just suss out what- Ooh, not bad. We, we might actually take her home. Place her just down by the river. If you happen to heal them and also put some foods on them, that'll help them. And if you place them in a bed, that'll also help their tamey effectiveness. But you can do up certain mass levels that that will help also it's this one but yeah hopefully they tame out pretty good i'm just going to dismantle most of that for the resources when i get home to my dismantling bench because that's stuff you cannot in a pocket mm, they might benefit from another bandage too i don't think cooked potato counts no i did take cooked potato with me because it will increase my max load just in case i do happen to want to carry this guy back although i will have to keep in mind that my weight and his weight will add together so everything i mine and everything he's holding will make me very fat and slow. Decent amount of ore to be had in both these mines, but this one is much bigger than the pig one. There are more dudes in here too. Whether you find that worthy or not, we are actually just going to head down to the pig one. But also pressing Q will highlight any of the sulfur that you happen to miss. A little yellow border, just like the enemies with their red border and friends with their blue. You happen to lose where you put your follower, chill on that. That was a good bit. One of my food buffs to help me a little bit then, but whatever. Left some of the stuff on that NPC, so I'm a little bit lighter. The waterways around here are fairly safe, although you will occasionally come across a wild pig or a wolf just chilling in the water, but usually it's just the tortoises, and again, they won't attack you unless you attack them. Here's the brimstone cave. We have some elite boar, which oh, I don't think I want to mess with. I really feel like they're probably going to kill me, but I could just be traumatized from last time. Oh, so much of the ore is in there. <laughs> well, that was easier than I was anticipating. Good. Saving my hunting score. <laughs> yeah, you get the idea. Go and get a whole bunch of resources. If you have cape loot on death, you can always put a little campfire out the front, mine a bunch, kill yourself, go home, respawn, level up that way. If you don't have cape loot on death, that obelisk is relatively close and you can carry a follower on your back through the obelisk. So if you do happen to find someone you want to keep, you can actually do that. 
you're not already, consider subscribing and smash that like button if you found this informative. Stick around for another helpful soul mask guide. And until next time, I hope you have an excellent day, evening, night, morning, whatever it may be, wherever you may be, and you smack up all that sulfur. Have a good one.